Your entire life and completely transform your mind today. I'm saying this because it has happened to me, and so I know that it can happen to anyone who's willing to lock in and change. Now, the I game went from a girl or lady who was completely lost, not knowing where her life was headed, to someone who has found purpose in life. I went from quitting my job as a radio presenter, a job that gave me fame, a job that I called my dream job at the time, and setting on a career path that I felt like, oh my goodness, this was a new turn for me, and be clueless on how I was going to get things done to actually being a full-time content creator and I absolutely love what I do and moving from a girl who was thinking how she's going to work with brands to working with some really cool and amazing brands on this platform so if I can do it it doesn't matter whatever it is that you're trying to achieve in this 90 days are you willing to lock in are you willing to change the game now if you're ready Watch this video to the very end. Let's get going. My name is CD James and I get to film on all things productivity, becoming your best self and being all that God has called you to be. So first things first, one of the things that you have to do in having to change this game is having a go-getter attitude. Now I know there are a lot of background noises. I really do not care. I really do not care about these background noises because I want you to lock in and change your life in 90 days. So yes, you need to have a go-getter attitude. Now who are go-getters? Go-getters are people who go and get things done not people who sit and wish that the atmosphere the universe everything is just going to favor them which is actually good the universe will favor you but you need to be willing to do the work so go get us go get things done they don't wait for opportunities to find them they go in search and create the opportunity go look for an opportunity knock on doors that they feel like oh my goodness this door might feel so big the more bigger the door is the more they're willing to press on and say i'd rather get a no because seated here i'm getting my no already now i have noticed in my life that most of the good things that happened to me doors that i felt at the time that i was not prepared for but i was willing to go for anywhere because you see perfection perfection is a very big key like you're waiting for everything to be perfect here and there before you go get some things done you're going to be losing out big time so what's that thing which takes me to one of the things that we want to be doing this 90 day period because you're not just locking in you're locking in not disappearing from people but you're locking in and building momentum firing on intensifying your energy bringing your a game and we are not going for fives or threes we are going for tens all tens all the way bring in a positive energy every single moment in this 90 days then you need to be clear and specific on the goals that you're trying to achieve in these 90 days yes 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 this is not a time to write a long list of goals that you want to achieve and then none of it is achieved you started the year in nine months and you're wondering okay i didn't get a lot achieved how can i do much in these three months we're going to be a lot more clear and specific on what you want so i would rather you go with one two three goals and have 10 goals that you're trying to achieve in this 90 day period pick a goal that you feel like is so very important to you and if you get this goal achieved it's going to give you momentum it's going to catapult you're going to feel so good that 2024 whatever year it is that you're watching this is actually what you wanted okay so now that we are clear and specific on the goals you have a go-getter attitude you're clear and specific on what you want because this is the thing when you sit down and tell yourself all right in this 90 day period i want to increase my finances i want to get monetized on youtube which is one of my big goals for 2024 and i know that i'm definitely going to achieve that thanks to you and thanks to the amazing people that are supporting me and you know you want to find love start a business whatever it is now this helps and focuses your energy on these things meaning that any other thing that is coming in at that point in time that may feel important can actually be a distraction so you're not going to be paying attention to it do you get all right so now that we are clear and specific on the goals the next thing that we are going to be doing is we're going to be taking charge of our morning our morning set the tone for the rest of the day now you know when you wake up that morning and you're not feeling yourself it's just going to feel like the whole day is off very few people are able to take charge of a morning that feels off and you know make the best out of that day so what you're going to do right now is take charge of your money by building strong routines that you're going to live for so when we set the clear goals that we want to achieve in this 90 day period now i need to check if this is actually filming because somebody's telling me no it's not filming let's check so in taking charge of your morning, I have a whole video on the power of routines. Most people think that having a routine is actually going to be boring. But I tell you that your day is well structured and you tend to be able to uh, manage your time wisely when you have routine. So once you set goals and you're putting, all right, this is what I want to achieve. What are the things that I'm going to be needing to achieve this goal in this 90 day period? Now, taking charge of your morning means that when you wake up in the morning, you're already super excited to wake up because it's another new day for you to get down on these goals. Who are the people that I need to talk to today? The goal is to do something every single day that is going to be leading you to that goal. No matter how small it is, but because it's a 90 day period, you're bringing 
your all full energy like girl we're going full speed right here like we are not even joking so yes um you're getting clear on those goals you're building a strong routine you are itemizing the things that you have you're tracking your time you're managing your 24 hours so if something is coming and it might feel important but it is not in line with what you want to achieve you can tell nothing to oh my darling i can have time for you after 90 days but right now i am locked in on something i'm giving my full energy into this so it's not going to be a time where you're out there parting from one friend to the other no you're going to be writing out so between 6 to 10 this is what I want to get done this is what I want to speak with this is what I want to learn this is something of course I want to take and you know at the end of the day you're going to sit back and evaluate that day what was the thing that I did today that actually helped me in getting to my goals were there things that I did wrong now you're going to be committed to this 90 day period by sitting down to check in and evaluating yourself so when you get to evaluate yourself having a daily check-in you're going to see where you got things wrong and where you can actually change now you're also going to be taking on healthy habits which means you taking care of your health because if you're trying to lock in and transform your life in 90 days you need your health and health this day is well because yes it is i'm drinking a lot more water you know having to eat healthy whatever it is that is going to help for your mental health and well-being journaling you know just doing things that are going to be productive and help you mentally set and mentally ready to achieve this thing in this 90 day window you're going to go for it means if you wake up in a day and you're not feeling yourself you're going to tell your feelings that oh my goodness nah not today i am in charge feelings not you no 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 you can win after 90 days but right now i am going to be in charge i'm going to stay on top of things now if you haven't watched my video on hard truth everyone was no please go check it out because i spoke a whole lot about feelings on that video another thing that we're going to be doing in this 90 day period is a total mental research you're going to be mentally resetting your Yourself because everything that you want to achieve begins right here how you think who you're with things you surround yourself with this is a good time to surround ourselves with everything positive so we're going to be having a digital detox here where you're going to just surround yourself with the things you see the things the places you go to they have to inspire you so if you're trying to maybe get a job in this 90 day period you need to find yourself where it looks like you want to get a job so um, you need to look the part i'm a big fan of always looking the part whatever you want to achieve if you start looking the part it has a way of just attracting those things now imposter syndrome is going to set in but you are not giving a damn because in this 90 day period we are having a positive vibe so whatever our brain or our mind might want to tell us you are cancelling it back by telling your mind who you are and who you know your future to be so you're acting based on what you see your future to look like it is 90 day period you're going to be a lot more intentional in the podcast that you're listening to the associations it's a good time to work into circle because you are like five of the people you surround yourself with so if the five people that you're surrounding yourself with are not adding value to you oh my goodness you are missing out so yes um, a digital detox you're journaling a lot more you're practicing self-care habits that's going to help you you're being a lot more intentional about your space and the things that you consume so when you're scrolling to your phone or where you're going on social media there have to be things that inspire you there are people who are definitely where you want to go to so you need to watch those people i tell you that if you spend your 90 days focused on the things that look like what you want to achieve it just has this vibration you begin to vibrate at a different frequency you're moving away from low vibrations to high vibrations and only the people that can meet up with that energy be able to be in your space this is going to be a time where you're actually going to lose people yes don't be afraid to lose people because when you grow you're going to be entering into a different realm you're going to be associating with different people it doesn't mean that the people that you knew before are not important they are get to where you have not been you have to be willing to do what you have not done so what have you been thinking have you been thinking low on yourself it's going to be a time for you to change the game and begin to think highly of yourself see where you are headed now, so in this mental resetting period you're going to practice gratitude yes gratitude always has a way of turning your world around this is not a time to complain and blame this person no you're going to be grateful every single new day you wake up you're thanking god for the life you have for how far you've come now when you are grateful you 
tend to attract a lot more you begin to have the abundance mindset you begin to have the growth mindset now listen to copy music listen to things that helps and spores your productivity so yes we're going back to another thing that you need to do now if you've watched this video to this very point i want you to just comment right there i'm changing the game in 90 days because i tell you when you come up we're gonna be like what happened girl i was locked in and i had to take care of me and that's how i'm looking this way that's how i'm showing up this way so this is not a time to tell someone oh in 90 days this is what i'm gonna do no you are accountable to yourself you're talking to yourself you're working on yourself and when you show up you're going to be shocking them yes that's it we are shocking them in 90 days but it's not because you necessarily want to shock them the goal is to become a better version of yourself every it's single thing day to say that when you hang around a barber shop sooner or later you're definitely going to get a haircut so putting yourself in an environment that is going to mentally change the game for you would propel you in achieving your goals so don't be afraid to work into environment and this takes me to a very important point which is get ready to be uncomfortable yes be comfortable with being uncomfortable i said a whole lot about that in um hard truth everyone must know but in this 90 day period my darling get ready to walk into rooms that's going to feel scary because everything you want the success the growth that you desire is on the other side of here if you keep doing things that you're comfortable with you're not going to grow so in 90 days it, it might mean that you have to call that person that you've been dilly dallying it might mean that you have to reach out to that company reach out to that individual that brand whatever it is because you never can tell the moment you take a step towards what you want that thing automatically takes its step towards you but if you sit still and wait for it to come it's just going to be there but you are constantly pushing yourself by being uncomfortable doing things that are not comfortable getting out of your comfort zone and telling yourself oh now i have to call that person here's the trick and here's something that you need to apply if you're scared and you feel nervous that if you reach out to someone and reach out to that thing that you want so bad you're gonna get a no you already having a no as you sit so if you get a no it's fine you tried and my mentor will always tell me something when i make a mistake you'll be like if it made a thousand dollar mistake you just learned a thousand dollar lesson so you are not losing when you learn a thousand dollar lesson you are not going to make a hundred thousand dollar mistake anymore you're going to learn something from it it's better than just being there and not having to learn anything new so go anywhere and then this takes me to if you're an OJ, you would hear me say that um working as a presenter i had to knock on the door myself I had to knock on the radio station that I worked with and they were like, okay, it would be nice to have you work with us now. As if I had just stayed on my own, I was just there applying, 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 applying to all the radio stations that I was applying to. They didn't get me. If I had not taken myself down to that place and told them that I can do this, I would never have gotten that. And this goes for other things that I'm able to knock on doors and get that achieved. So what are you going to do? Knocking on doors that feel scary, but you're still going to go anyway. I think I'd just like to share this in case because I want this to be very, very short. Now, I recall the first time I had to MC a wedding. Now, I had MC'd a couple of events, but I just had no MC a wedding before. It just felt like it was big, you know, for me to do. And this is like a couple, five years ago, five or six years ago. And then my godmother told someone that I could do it. And within me, I felt like I couldn't. The deal was already signed. I was already, my name was already out of the program. UD James is going to be emceeing this wedding. And this groom out there did not even know that this was going to be my first time. So the night of the wedding, I tell you nothing but the truth. I was thinking of calling the groom to say, I don't know who was trying to blow my trumpet, but I can do this. And then I reached out to someone and the person told me, two things are going to happen tomorrow. And that's one thing I'm going to tell you. Two things are going to happen tomorrow. You're going to go there and it's going to be a total mess, a total flop. You wish you never went on that stage. Or you're going to go on that stage and you're going to wow everyone. And that's going to be the beginning of more weddings coming your way. I was nervous, but I went anywhere. So in this 90 day period, you need to be willing to do it afraid. Now I have gone on to MC so many weddings. I've gone on to MC on so many platforms, but there is one event that is so dear to my heart and that's the first wedding i ever emceed because it gave me the boost that i needed that oh my goodness if i can do this and i can get on this platform and each time you get on a platform that you feel like you couldn't but then you did 
even when you're afraid you get confident and you move over to the next that's why i'm saying that you can grow when you're in your comfort zone you have to be willing to do things that are uncomfortable so yes what thing are you going to do today that's a question that's something you're going to be asking yourself every single day when you wake up what uncomfortable thing can i do today that will propel me to achieve what i want to achieve in this 90 day window darling if you do that you are going to transform your life when you show up the new year and i'd just like to add this bonus tip that the great people who you see um successful people who are making their year you know look amazing they start at the sun they start you know at this period they, they begin their year in october they don't begin their year in january they start from october to ensure that their year comes out amazing and as wonderful as they would want it to be so you are meant to see this video and i can promise you that in this 90 days you look at yourself and you become completely unrecognizable but that is if you choose and make a decision that you're going to transform your life. No one is going to do it for you. You're going to be the one to change and transform the trajectory of your life. You are your rescue. Like I'd always join Lisa Nichols to say yes, yes, yes. You are the generational curse breaker in your family. What game are we trying to change to this 90 day period? Let me know in the comment section and I'm going to be holding you accountable to it. If you up to this point, just give me a... Uh, Energy we're gonna go with you're gonna go with a strong energy like you know something that just shows that you are strong you're on fire yes yeah, strong fire whatever and emoji that depicts that for you go ahead and let me know that in the comment section you know if this video has been helpful the subscribe and like because i tell you this girl is fully loaded i have a whole lot coming for you i see you bye